Hello there. Today in this video, you will learn how to install Raspberry Pi OS in headless mode. You can also watch my previous video about normal mode installation. First, what is headless mode installation? The answer is very simple. Let's consider a human body has Raspberry Pi and its head has its monitor. For a normal mode installation, you need keyboard, mouse and a monitor. But for a headless mode installation, keyboard, mouse and monitor not required. As you see here, there's no other way to communicate without Raspberry Pi because we don't have a monitor, keyboard or mouse to give inputs or interact. It means there's nothing. But still, it is possible for us to use our Raspberry Pi without any external monitor, keyboard and mouse. So, let's get started. The installation procedure is almost same as normal mode installation but there are some minor changes we have to make I means when compared to normal mode installation but it's not so tricky but it's easy the first thing is you have to access advanced settings in your uh, raspberry pi imager to access the advanced settings press ctrl shift x and once you have access to those advanced settings you have to enable ssh because this is the key using which we can access our Raspberry Pi SSH connection and uh, in case if you don't have an Ethernet cable you can turn on the Wi-Fi so that you can connect with your Raspberry Pi using Wi-Fi network and then you'll use the same SSH protocol to access your Raspberry Pi you can also change the host name and default user password well uh, the default user name and password is Pi and Raspberry Pi once everything is done, save your settings and please make sure that hostname and username are two different things. Hostname, username, two different things. Okay. Let's consider our Rashmian OS is on our SD card and we inserted that SD card inside our Raspberry Pi. Now it's time for us to establish a connection with our Raspberry Pi. For this, we either need Ethernet or a Wi Fi network. So once we manage to arrange that, we have to install mobile xterm on our pc if you want to install mobile xterm the link is given in the description before we could use mobile xterm we need to find the ip address of our raspberry pi the to find the ip address the procedure is uh, somewhat simple you just need to open your command prompt or just simply search for cmd on your search bar type ping hostname dot local the hostname is what we changed it there. Well, in default, uh, the hostname will be raspberrypi.local, but since I changed it, so my hostname is anclubs.local. So if I just use the ping command, ping anclubs.local, I'll be able to ping my raspberry pi, and through that process, I'll be knowing the IP address of my raspberry pi. Uh, let's say for some reason this is not working. In that case, we have to use mobile external. So inside the mobile external, we have uh, we have some network scanner tools. To access the network scanner tool, we have to go to tools and network scanner and start the scan. To my own surprise, network scanner from mobile external worked faster than advanced IP scanner, which is the app which I was using for a while now. But I was really surprised with network scanner's scanning ability. Inside this network scanner, you have various protocol on the top so you have to just see uh, the SSH protocol means inside the SSH column uh, the IP which SSH is enabled is your Raspberry Pi if you cannot find your IP address make sure your PC and Raspberry Pi are connected to the same network so if they are connected in the same network the prefix should match with your PCs and the mobile extents prefix IP address once you are sure about the IP address of your Raspberry Pi, you can start a new session, new ESCSH session, type in the IP address and go. You might be asked to enter username and password of your Raspberry Pi. Another pop-up message will be there which will ask you to save the username and password. For now, you can just skip it. Now you will be granted access to your Raspberry Pi terminal window. With suitable commands, you can do anything. There are few other tools which we normally use with our Raspberry Pi. Some of them even allows us to access Raspberry Pi's desktop environment without keyboard, mouse and a monitor. 
one of the most commonly used tool is VNC. In case if you are using latest version of Raspberry OS, this VNC is already inside your Raspberry Pi OS. Right? VNC is one of the most commonly used tool to access Raspberry Pi's uh, desktop environment remotely on our personal computer. To enable VNC server on the Raspberry Pi, type the command sudo raspberry config. Select interface option and click enter. And here you should enable the VNC server. Now you will be prompted to enable VNC server. Select yes and enter. To access Raspberry Pi's remote desktop on your PC, you have to install VNC viewer. I am using real VNC viewer. Enter the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. In my next video, I'll talk about this INA219 sensor, which is a bi-directional power monitoring sensor.